Good morning, everybody. The misbehaviors are out. It's early in the morning. And the temperature is nice, so the kids are very active, playing, enjoying themselves. I wanted to show you a few things in the garden. The runners have started on the tomato uh, strawberries in the pots, as well as the one in the garden out back. So the permanent strawberry patch is definitely going to have to be uh, picked and amended soon. This is what I've been talking about. They are almost like dandelion puffs on the lettuce seed head. And if you really want all of your lettuce seeds or as many as you could get, you can take this head into a paper bag and shake and pinch the really dried ones and lettuce seeds free very, very easily from that pod. So I have jobs to do. <laughs> Add some more stuff to the list. So many things growing so quickly. It's wonderful to see. These are the lemon apple cucumbers and the dragon tongue beans. I noticed I have some squash starting on the Turk's turban. Like I said, as soon as the other um, squash start to flower, this, this one is going to be uh, removed or at least his his male flowers pinch back so I don't have to worry about uh, cross-pollination. The transplants are doing well. The wildflowers and arugula. I think Sam has decided to uh, be a vegetarian. He's doing a number. Uh, a few days ago I edged this bed put more of the topsoil and mushroom compost on it. More of those cactus showing up. I think come fall, I'm going to go around the property and get all of them to one area. There, I'm just noticing them popping up all over through the grass on the other side of the fence line there too. The neighbors have some really, really large ones. I don't think people do too much around here with them. The lettuce is actually growing, providing that shade and some relief. Great growth on that amaranth back there. All right, let's head back here. I'm going to show you more of the, uh, the basil bolt and how it's starting to happen on a whole bunch of the, the um, different stalks. So here it is. It's way easier to identify on the cinnamon basil with those purple, pronounced purple leaves showing up. And there it is on the sweet basil. The cilantro seeds up front by the pond and here are ready. You could tell when you just lightly touch it and the seeds break away. So that's another job. That round of parsley is doing really good. Flowers are starting to show up on the, uh, on, these are the blue lake beans. And lots of flowers showing up on the black Spanish round radish. Like I said, they didn't ball up and, and produce radish. They went straight to seed because of the heat. I will utilize those as sprouting seeds. Maybe just do a test to see if that next generation will ball or not for me in cool weather. Good growth on the lettuce back here. Broccoli raw volunteers that got transplanted. The wild blackberry 
all took nicely. Even uh, when I did the, this, these were the original ones that I moved in early spring. They're even flowering. That huge patch that I was telling you about along the road coming into my place, uh, just huge stretches of blackberry. I stopped by about two days ago and they are, um, they're just starting to turn. So I'm gonna be extremely busy in the very early morning trying to keep up with that as well. I wanna get as many blackberries to make preserves and to freeze as I can. And of course, nothing like eating fresh. I pulled some of the broccoli rot volunteers and some of this uh, Thai stir fry mix and it was very delicious. Endive in the uh, Egyptian walking onion patch is finally starting to take off. And here are the gorgeous purple endive blossoms starting to appear all over the stalk. Like I said, these just don't free up as easily as a lettuce seed. They do take some uh, pinching, crushing, but everywhere these little blossoms come out is going to be a cluster of seeds. Sometimes there will be like five seeds, sometimes up to ten. And the New Zealand spinach is getting tall. The Swiss chard here is also uh, showing some growth. And this is some kind of garden berry. I think it might be a gooseberry. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Producing flowers. Tiny little onions. Crazy growth on the kohlrabi leaves. And this is where the ball appears. And from what I've read, I've been eating this since a child, uh, I was a child, but from what I read, this is the most densely packed vitamins of all of the cabbage family. And for you people who have not had kohlrabi, it is uh, like almost like a raw potato texture, but slightly peppery. And there's the early purple Vienna. Now the stems are just purple. When you peel back the skin of the bulb of this plant, it's it, no matter what variety I've seen, they're all white on the inside. Typically I just eat them with a little bit of salt straight, just like that, or dice it up and put it in salads. The okra, tomatoes, the winged bean, steaks, I have to get steaks. Normally I don't deal with pole beans because of that, of the additional resources and work, but I just love this variety so much. So I really have to get on that very quickly. The albino bullnose pepper is now starting to flower. But uh, I think, oh, it wasn't this. This is the uh, cinnamon basil that I said I was going to let go to flower. And the one in the pot is the one that I'm going to be pinching back. Wait till you see the growth on these early Russian cucumbers. Just like that. Boom. You know, it's a tiny little cucumber. And now he's about five inches long. Another one back there. No aborted fruit. All of the pollination worked. I pinched the uh, this one this morning. But here's here's exactly why I'm here. So I pinched this one on camera, and I said, "Oh, now it's going to become a a task." There's another one, and there's another one. Everywhere there is a separate branch coming off of this bush will try to push flower. 
and the more you pinch all of those off, the more branches are going to come out, the taller it's going to get, and the more pinching. And then it's up to you to decide when you're going to let it go to flower and then produce the seed. Mustard green squash, everything. Everything's looking really good. Crazy, crazy growth on the uh, tobacco plants. I mean, these guys were just, you know, little nothings. I transplanted them kind of early. And now, you know, I'll put my hand up in just a very short time. Coming up beautifully. The wildflower patch back there sprouted too. Amaranth and Swiss chard, another patch of kohlrabi, and beets, lots of beets that are in need of attention to be thinned. All right, it's been a good morning. Busy day today. I'm the chauffeur for the family. So I have to go get ready for the day. I'll talk to you all real soon. Arrivederci.